The Iraqi oil minister to me sounded like we might see a cut and might even need a deeper one. Yeah, that's right. These are the two biggest lines coming out of this um, interview I just had with him. One is that he's saying that Russia, that many seem to say, might be dragging their feet. They're the ones that might want to produce more. He's saying that they've recently given statements in favor of extending the OPEC plus deal. So it looks like Russia is coming on board. But, you know, the FD just sat down with President Putin at the G20, and he basically said, just watch this space. It's not 100 percent confirmed whether or not um, they have this cut. You know, so the G20 will be very critical whether or not Putin and MBS maybe decide there that they would extend this cut. And then the other line is that Iraq would potentially be up for cutting deeper. He doesn't think that 1.2 million barrels a day could deal with the supply glut. Right. And you brought up uh, Putin and it raises the question of Russia. So if you wind up having supply not dealing with the supply glut, what does Russia wind up doing? They could live at $40 oil. What did the Iraqi oil minister say about where he thinks Russia is going to come down on all of this? Well, he thinks that the reason signs that they are in favor of this rollover. But you bring up a very excellent point. Russia could live with $40 of oil for their budget. They prefer 60 And when I talk to oil traders, this is the big dynamic between Russia and, and Saudi, really the two heads of OPEC and OPEC+. Plus. This $20 barrel a difference. Russia would like 60 The Saudis need 80 I mean, when you have oil trading in the ranges we are now, that's good enough for Russia. So for Russian oil companies, it's very hard. They need to bite their tongue to, to want to stick on with cutting more production. But at the end of the day, it's going to come down to what President Putin wants wants to do. As Salim Akroff has said a number of times, he's really become the energy czar. And just quickly on prices, Alex, um, Tamir Garban, the Iraqi oil minister, said to me he thinks 70 is more fair for mm -hmm. producers and consumers. Yeah, uh, Halima Kraft at RBC, uh, really in-depth research there. Also, uh, Anne-Marie, talk a little bit going into this OPEC meeting as to where people are, act where countries are actually producing. All of them are producing really below the target at which they're actually allowed to pump. So what about the semantics that we can expect when all the uh, headlines come out? Well, I think that's what makes uh, the Iraqis saying they'd be interested and possibly up for cutting deeper um, make some people shake their head is the fact that they have yet to comply yet. They have yet to comply with their already current agreement. And they say they will work on complying. You wouldn't give me a time frame, but they have yet to comply. And a lot of countries haven't uh, complied fully. Russia only recently just complied. And many um, say that is due to the fact that they had to deal with this contaminated oil crisis. The ones who are really um, the that, that are cutting the deepest and really carrying this deal are the Saudis.